Hello and welcome back to another video. I believe this is part 20, so we're nearly finished now with the uh, the styling of the website, so the way it all looks. Um, in probably about another one or two episodes, we'll then we'll then be starting on the database side of it. So we'll be adding in the login pages, the register page, uh, forgot password page, and then we'll be creating a members section. So people who register will then see certain links to certain pages that other people won't be able to see so we've got all that coming up um, but first of all we just need to carry on finishing off this home page so if I come down so we need to style these links now and I'm going to try and get this uh, done in the same episode uh, if I can uh, so I like to keep the episodes 10 minutes long because uh, I think smaller chunks are easier to digest than having say a 25 minute video um, but anyway, enough of that. So we need to carry on with this. So I'm going to zoom in with Control and Plus, and I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool, which is here. I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit more just to find out the colour of this. I think it's probably the same colour as the uh, other text as well. Yep. So it's eight five eight five eight five. So I'm just going to paste that over here. So click OK to that. So it's going to jump over to Visual Web Developer and if we go to the style sheet so I'm going to come here to the sidebar links list item and the height I'm going to set this to a pixel based height so I was going to say 25 pixels just see how big that is uh, I think a tiny bit more we'll say 30 pixels and then check that again as you can see they're now growing in size uh, so what we need to do is we need to add a border on the bottom of each one so I'm going to come here and I'm going to say border one pixel oh that's ten pixels one pixel solid um, and a color of CCC which is like a gray color and go back to the default page uh, you can't really see that very well, so I'm going to open up a web browser by clicking on the green play button up here. So as you can see in the browser here, I've made a tiny mistake, is I didn't specify which side of the border I wanted, so it's done it around all of the list item. So I'm just going to minimize the web browser, and then click on debug, stop debugging. Make sure you keep the web browser open. So back to the style sheet, and I'm going to say border bottom this time, and hit save. Now if we bring back the web browser and if we hit refresh you can now see it's actually changed and it's now on the bottom um, but obviously it's still not quite looking right we do need to change a few more things for example we need to change this circle from a circle to like a, uh, a greater than sort of sign um, we need to move the list item link in the middle of the actual list item so it's got the same uh, margins on each, on each side of it also need to change the color and take off the um, the underlines. So if I minimize the web browser, so if we just jump back over to Photoshop and we'll actually slice out this uh, tiny little image here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this blue greater than uh, symbol and go to my layers and just click it one more time. So jump to it, which it does. And I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click on the I symbol, so everything will disappear apart from that. And I'm just going to grab my slice tool. I'm going to create a tiny little slice around the actual arrow. Just zoom in a bit. So we can see it. I just need to bring this up slightly. And I think that's quite a nice slice. So I'm going to call this uh, bullet point like that. Now I'm going to do file, save web and devices and find the actual bullet point which is here I think yep so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change it to PNG so it's now transparent I'm going to click save so you want to make sure that the slices is selected to selected slices and click save so now we've done that we just need to go back over to visual web developer and here we need to say the following we're going to say list style image I'm going to say URL, two brackets, and we're going to say, we're going to tell it where the actual uh, image is. So it's going to be back a folder into the images folder, and it was called 
bullet point.png like that and save that and with a bit of luck that's actually added it and you can now see we've now got that bullet point which is looking quite nice uh, so the next thing we're going to do is actually come here to the sidebar uh, links li and we're going to say the width is 200px you can now see that's brought it in a bit so that the um, bottom border line isn't extending all the way over to here I think we can just bring it in a tiny bit more I reckon if we say 175 and that's looking quite nice now uh, so we just need to style the actual links themselves now so if we go back over to the CSS so what we're going to do, we're going to add some anchor links up here at the top with our other code so I'm just going to paste this in to save a bit of time like that, so we've got the following, so we're saying any, any link um, that hasn't been visited yet, it'll be a certain colour and then we've got another one that when it has been visited that'll be a colour and so on and so forth so when it hasn't been visited we're going to use 858585 so if I just save that and go to the default page you can now see straight away that the links have changed so we also want to remove this underline so here in fact if I just create a tiny bit of space just so it's easier to read So what we want to say here, we want to say text, decoration, and we're going to say none. So if you go back to the default, you can now see the underline has disappeared. And then for the hover, we're going to change this one. And we'll just change that to CCC, which again is a grey colour. Like I said, this, this series is mainly about the database side of things. Uh, I'm going to be creating another series that shows you how to do more uh, fancy uh, Photoshop techniques, so the hover, so like I said that's going to be CCC and then we're going to say text decoration this time, we're going to turn the underline back on like that uh, and then for the visited we can just go back over to Photoshop for a second just turn all this back on and we'll grab the eyedropper tool, we'll just click on a grey colour here and then we'll just make it a bit darker so we know that that one's been visited so 474444 just go back over to the style sheet so for the visited colour it will be that colour there and that's pretty much it for the active colour this is when you actually click on the link it will change to a certain colour so again we'll change that to something else so we'll just go a bit darker down here. So 181717. Back to the style sheet and we're just going to change this here now. So we've now changed all of that. So if we now preview this in the web browser. So now if I hit refresh you'll see quite a big change uh, to this unordered list. So as you can see there now that's quite a big change. So now when I hover over you can see that they change colour and you actually get the underline as well I think probably what the best thing to do is for the hover because at the moment it's quite a light colour is change it to a darker colour so I'm just going to come back over here to Dreamweaver to Photoshop even and I'm just going to grab this colour here so 100B0B just copy that straight out and on the hover I'm going to change the CCC because it's a bit too light for this colour and if we just go back to the web page, hit refresh, and that's a bit better now. So the final thing we need to do is just line these links up in the middle because obviously there's more space here than there is at the top, so it doesn't quite look right. So the way we're going to do this, if we just minimize the web browser, and if we come down the page to our uh, li here, so if we actually change the height here from 30 pixels to auto, save that and then just open up the web page and hit refresh. So as you can see now they've all got uh, auto heights, so they're all sitting quite nicely next to each other. So we just need to add padding on the top and the bottom of each list item and then that will give us a nice bit of spacing and equal spacing on each list item. So if I just minimise the browser window, so on the list item we're going to say padding. 
and we're going to say the top padding is 4 pixels, the right padding is 0, the bottom is 4, and the left is 0 as well. If we just now go back to the web page and hit refresh, and you can now see we've now got equal spacing between each one, and that's looking quite nice. And in the next episode, we're going to add in the final box here at the bottom. And then once that's complete, we'll then start to be adding in the, the login box, which will probably be around here. Uh, we'll add in the, like, uh, forgotten my password page, uh, a register page, um, a members section. So when members actually register and log in, they'll see additional links underneath here that a guest will not see. So then they can get access to, the like I said, the members area and do what they want to do. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.